wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. All right, folks, number five of six in this double Ihwatakwax bonanza. Today, we're doing it monster styles with overwhelming hunger, folks. So if this is your first time in this series, welcome, of course. You can see the whole back catalog. But uh, the idea is to use Cyana to double play Ihwatakwax on the melee row, hopefully bricking a couple of... Uh, your opponent's big cards, while also uh, just bringing out a ton of tempo for yourself. So our two targets in Monsters is going to be she, who knows? So if you pull off the combo round one or two, Sabbath shouldn't be a problem here. You're going to uh, get that beautiful carryover. And also, Goliath here, folks. Ten point card, sensational. And if you think you can afford to do it, it's not a bad idea to use one of your leader charges on that goal yet. So not only do you pull out your two most expensive opponent's units, if you eat up goal yet immediately, you also bring out their highest unit remaining. So you may just really stuff up their ongoing plans. Now, <clears throat> what else do we play? We play Portal. We got a ton of thinning here, folks. Portal is guaranteed to pull out your two NL Conquerors. Sensational, sensational tempo and thinning. Uh, what else we got here, Rap? Royal Decree, get you any unit you want. Couldn't quite fit in uh, Rhaenyra Mancy, but Royal Decree tends to do the job. Cave Troll, of course, we need Defender to protect uh, Cyana. And, yep, you know, whatever else uh, is going to be on that melee row. Now, Snowdrop, of course, a staple in these double Ihwatakwak series because uh, it allows you to mulligan a little more freely. Fix up your hand if you end up drawing your, uh, your Golyat or your She Who Knows. Now, bear in mind, though, being eight provisions, same as Golyat, there is the risk that your Hiwatakwaks would pull Snowdrop instead of Golyat. So make sure you have Snowdrop in hand or you've already played her, okay? Otherwise, it's a 50-50 shot. Um... Then we're playing Penitent, folks. Now, this is going to be the target of your other leader charge. Uh, guaranteed to pull one of these three. So play your Penitent on the melee row. It'll pull out your Rat Catcher S for nine, or the Beast, or the Appearing Phantom. Sensational engine pieces. Two Wild Hunt Riders for extra thinning. Dominance shouldn't be a problem. Two Witch Apprentices. Sabbath shouldn't be a problem. And uh, rounding out the Mulligan fodder. Two Swallows, two Mahaka Males. There's a few locks going around, so you should find value there. And two Packs and one Sports. So uh, Crystal Skull to protect, you know, maybe a Witch Apprentice. we got a ton of engines here, folks. And if left alone, oh, they can get out of hand, believe me. So uh, let's set a course for adventure. Let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. Precision strike. Huh? Be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Well, let us set a course for adventure and teach these forest dwelling savages a thing or two about a thing or two. Get rid of that. Mm okay. Hmm. Get rid of the beast. I don't want to brick the penitent, you say. Okay, okay. All right, let's uh, let's start things off strong here, folks. Appear in Phantom, enter the fray. I think that's a hell of an opening play. Don't you? Now, apart from the penitent, I don't really have any of our... Oh, we got the Wild Hunt Riders, I suppose. But uh, no portal. And no access to the big combo piece. We need Cyana. Don't have Royal Decree either. You know, Snowdrop could fix things up a little bit for us here, folks. Well, that's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Right. Mm. Do I switch things up and just dedicate myself to the back row now, folks? Hmm. Why not? Why not indeed? 
All right. Keep the appearing phantom ticking along nicely there. Now, we won't be able to take advantage of its order ability, but that's okay. can continue to tick along, just like the good Lord intended. Okay, okay, what do you got? What do you got? Bit of uh, lockage? No? Okay. Oh, well played, well played. Yeah. Not a fan of that. Mm. Oh, you know what? You know what? I should have thought that through a little better because we do have access to Pact. We could give this guy six points but make Matic doomed. You know what I'm saying? All right, Witch Apprentice, enter the fray. We have reached the Holy Sabbath. Sensational. Yeah, we got that much of a decent lead, folks. Can you believe it? I'm actually going to do it. Now... He may have purification up his sleeve, but uh, that's absolutely fine. What do you uh, What do you say to that, Chief? Go ahead. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I don't think I want to try my luck with Snowdrop here, folks. It's getting a little late on in the piece. <laughs> Mmm, it's risky. You know, this is going to boost by six. Can you believe it? I'm taking the pass here. Because he's got some hidden points up his sleeve, but... Unless... Oh, he may, he may find purification for the Matic here. He may yet do. Yep. Dastardly deeds. Well played, Tap. Well played. Um... Yeah, you should have targeted the Elven Seer there, I feel, fella. Uh, oh dear. Well, okay, okay. Okay, this is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, a bit of a misplay there by our dear opponent. Okay, well he took the tie. We're caught up. But, uh, we could be in a little bit of strife here, folks. Okay, we got Portal. We got Defender Styles. Hmm. He doesn't have a ton of specials for his eventual gourd. Uh, yeah, okay. This will be interesting. Let's see how we fare. The only good is a dead um, do I want to just straight up open with the cave troll? Oh, it's going to get heat waved, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying, folks? Yeah, I guess let's thin out the Conquerors before we snow drop, of course, I feel, folks. Okay, what's it going to be? One of those? Okay. Not much we can do about that. Alright, Cave Troll, enter the fray. Alrighty. And we'll get the other Conqueror here, folks. And then... Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well played, well played, sir. Well played. Perhaps... Which printer styles? So that'll come out. That should tick. No. Next time. Next time. We have reached that unholy Sabbath. Only just. Okay, there's the heat wave as suspected. Final leader charge. Sure. Well played. Well played. Mmm. Right. Right. Alright, let's snowdrop styles. See what we get. Alright. That's good against Gord. I think we keep that. I think we just dump these two here, folks. To be completely honest with you. Okay. he's. We've still got one leader charge, but, oh, you yeah. know... Don't know what that counts for. Here comes the Neuromancy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Mmm, okay. Uh-huh, okay. It's got a decent lead on us, folks. Decent lead. Now, what are the chances he's still got Gord in the deck piece? 
Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We're sweet, we're sweet. It's not gonna pull Sayana. She who knows, knows best. Okay, 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 okay. So, final card's gotta be access to Gord, or Gord himself, surely. Orb of Insight. No Gord to speak of. I think we may... Ooh, this is gonna be... Hey. What the devil? What is this dark magic? What is the dark arts? Yeah, we'll use that. Mm. Mate. Well, it was an interesting start to the proceedings. Oh, damn. All right, well, let's try to do it properly here, folks, shall we? Come on, let's do it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hate to see that. Alright, let's see how we fare here, folks. Gonna put up a fight. No doubt about that. Right. I don't want to brick the portal, but we do have Snowdrop to fix things up if need be. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, look, we, we can put down some solid engine pieces, okay, folks? We, th we thin out the Conquerors with the portal. We put down the Appearing Phantom, the Beast. You know, these are viable options here, folks. Viable options. We'll start off with that. Even though the Phantom would be uh, an engine piece that ticks along immediately, I want to get the portal down ASAP, just in case this guy takes an early pass and we don't end up thinning out the Conquerors, as the good Lord intended, in accordance with those holiest of scriptures. Yeah, kill, 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 kill. It's a big play. It's a big old fashioned play. But maybe we don't want to commit these big guys, you know. Maybe we just want to take the opportunity to do some solid thinning for us. And maybe sail on through, you know what I'm saying, Farge? That might be a wiser course of action here. Ooh. I was not expecting that. Alright. Hmm. So, it's not devotion. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, all right. Let's play on a little further here, folks. Okay, so it's also no duplicates, so it may even be Shoop. This is not what I was expecting, but I'm pleasantly surprised, fella. Hmm, sure, well, I guess that's good to get out, I suppose. Sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. I mean, the beast... Ah, screw it. You know, if I save the beast for later, I dare say it may even get filliped, and we wouldn't want that. No, sir. Not on my watch. Okay, we're getting some solid cards out of this fella. Ooh. Sure. Does he have another poison up his sleeve, I wonder? He may well do. May well do. Still... Let's get that final poison out of this fella, shall we, Farge? That'll do. As for this spores... 
may not be worth holding on to going forward. Hmm. Your move, pal. Please, go ahead. Oh, yes, interesting. Not much we can do about that. Hmm. Maybe, see what he does here, but maybe it's worth trying our luck with Snowdrop. Nah, okay, there's the, there's the final poison. Okay, we're going to bow out. He's got some carryover. Fair play to him. He's done well. He's done very well. Wait a second. I know uh, my buddy Plain Talk John has been loving a bit of shoop lately, and I did see him post a sausage maker video of late. I wonder if that's what we're up against. Well, let's see. All right, Decree can find our Cyana. Penitent can get our rat catcher S for some solid pointage. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what he wants to do here. <coughs> Maybe worth pulling off the combo piece this here round. Let's see. Oh, you've done it now. Um, see, if I cave troll, he could just pass, you see. But does he want the resilience again? You know what I'm saying, folks? Let's let's see. Maybe he plays Kurt to purify our poor little cave troll. Poisonage. Okay. Well. Our oh dear Cyana should survive here, folks. I don't see him having an answer to it. Alright. Combo styles. Take a look at this. You think he got carryover, son? <laughs> Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Oh, you'll love to see that. Let's see what else you got hiding in your deck piece there, pal. Sure. Oh, sensational. Sensation ability. Alright. We got five points extra carryover on this guy. You make all the sausages you want. But we know best. Alright, we need to ditch the rat catcher ass. That's for our dear penitent. What else are we missing here? Yeah, it's not that sensational, but Snowdrop can fix things up if we need it. Sensational, folks. Sensational. Still, we could still be up against Shoop, I suppose. Um, Horson Jr. is still a solid card, even in non-devotion. Too much to handle, obviously. I wish we could have played it out. But when you pull off the combo to perfection like this, it's just devastating. Devastating, as you can see. All right, let's do it again. Let's go. Tactical decision, huh? Let's teach these southern savages a lesson they won't soon forget. Alright, come on. Um, ooh. Well, 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 this is an interesting development here, folks. We have Snowdrop. We have Cave Troll. We have Cyana through Rule Decree, and we have the Hwaraquax. This is an interesting development. And we have a decent spores by the looks of it. Yes. But look, let's let's play it slow. Let's do some beautiful thinning. Yes. 
And we don't have, what we don't have in hand are these two big boys, which is just sensational. Now, being against Nilfgaard, oh, one of those, huh? one of those boys, clog styles. We have to be careful, we have to be ever vigilant. Of the end of this invocation, heat wave. It's gonna clog us, huh? Clog. Okay. I like to improvise. That bodes well. That bodes well for our dear Cyana here, folks. I don't think the positioning really matters. Although my uh, my wife would argue differently. <laughs> I digress. All right, come on. We have everything we darn well need. And we may just, we may pull out old mate Colgrim. We can't do anything about it, but it may just stuff up everything he holds dear. Well, look at that. Well, we're all set up here, folks. Take a look at this. Okay, good. Okay. Well, that means... Damn it, I should have used a leader charge on the goal yet. I could still do it. I could still do it. We get the carry over, but we'd be two cards down in the push. No, we're going to carry on. Okay. So we must have Colgrim in hand, folks. Right. And he would have Defender in hand as well. Because I pulled the Snowdrop. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, of course. Goliath survived the piece, huh? Okay, okay. All right, so we could kill it. We could kill it if uh, if we decided to go down that route. But uh, we're going to just continue to put the pressure on this fella. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Well, we denied Letho. Okay, how do we want to do this? It's, yeah, it was a 50-50 shot that Goliath would survive the piece. Not much we can do about that. We're just going to uh, just going to continue the party here, folks. Really put the pressure on this fella. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the penitent only has one option: the rat catcher rest. We could get lucky with our snowdrop, of course. Okay, he's going for the renew. Onto the snowdrop. Wow, he's going to get a ton of points here, but we have a solid spores. Now spores. In an ideal world, we'd probably want to save for Colgrim. But he hasn't actually clogged us all that much, folks. Plus, the bigger it gets, the bigger the beast can aspire to. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm, getting, I'm just going to let that snowdrop do its thing. Okay. We're just, we're putting the pressure on this fella. Try to clog me. Not on my watch. No, sir. Now, we're going to play the snowdrop. Our own snowdrop. And hope against hope that we might get, say, some Wild Hunt Rider action. Thin those out. Although, we'd have to wait for a bit of dominance action by the looks of it. Um, but Penitent would also be sensational. Penitent would be thing of absolute beauty, folks. To be completely honest with you. Okay, here comes later. Here comes old mate Morvan Voorhees. Voorhees, a jolly good fellow. Entering the fray. So we don't need to fear Renew or Letho. There will be only but one instance of the Colgrim. And it really shouldn't be all that too devastating. Oh, man. Damn it. We can't spores the snowdrop. It's hidden behind the Defender Styles. Of course, of course. Not much we can do about it. Oh well. 
Mm. I'd rather do it through the penitent, to be honest with you. And how are we going to get dominance? It's not going to happen, is it? Yeah. Kind of have to ditch him again. It's just not going to happen for me, folks. It's not going to happen for me. Unbelievable scenes. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we're getting... We're getting five points per turn. Passively. He is getting two points per turn, but it's not passive. He's having to use the order ability. On old mate Dodrick. Now, we've got a six-point spores on the Fion. Um, can we get our car back? You know, we can we can eke our way through this a little while longer. Oh, what are you putting back? What did you put back, fella? Oh, hoo -hoo, a dead conqueror. Well played, Tap. Well played. All right. Let's just keep getting those beautiful five points per turn, please. Oh, and he's got Sunset Wanderers. Well, if the Sunset Wanderers lands on the range row, that could certainly be a good spores as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure. Mm, what to do, what to do. As I say, we just keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Let's at least get that Sunset Wanderers play out, please. But... He's, he's got a solid little solid little uh, scheme going here. Yes. What's better than a dead noble? Well, he's doing the clogging. He's absolutely doing that. There's no denying. Do I want to kill the goal yet? <laughs> Hmm, I don't know. Potentially, potentially. But for now, we've got a good thing going. Don't mess with perfection. Now, once the Sunset Wanderers enters the fray, he'll be down to four cards. If we kill the Goliath, he'll be down to three. Oh, what's he doing here, actually? Ooh. Well, that is an interesting development. Wrong row, mate. Wrong row. Oh, sorry. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Ooh. He could hero pass. But I don't care. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay. He's only going to be drawing two cards. So, we might want to take our leave here. In fact, we may have to. Monsters. No, a goat will suffice for now. Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> if I hit... No, I can't hit that. So, I can do three damage. Plus four, so that's seven. Minus one is six. <clears throat> Plus 12 is 18. I can do an 18 point play. Plus I get another four. Uh, right. 18. Yeah, even with a leader charge. Okay. 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 We're gonna be at even cards. Hopefully we've bricked him something fierce. He has clogged us pretty decently. There's no denying. Um, a bunch of snowdrops. Well, that can that can fix things up a little. Oh, and we're going to need it. But we're going to have last say, and he's not going to have defender. So we may just be okay, folks. Could he kill this? Do I want to save the other snowdrop for maximum value? Could he kill it? Coded weapons. He might play coded weapons. Alright. Oh, that's what we want. 
That is what we want. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, and that thins out. That thins out the rat catcher S. Yeah, so I knew it. I bloody knew it. Maybe we want to do this other snowdrop now while this one is on the board. Nah. Nah, we do it this way because he's going to play Colgrim now. Not that it matters, we got the answer to it in the sports. And it's not the most devastating Colgrim I've ever seen. No, sir. Okay, okay. Now we get some great value off our two snowdrops. Thank you so much, fella. Yeah, we just dump those back into the deck post. Sensational. Final play, what you got? Final card, go ahead. Sure. Mario level boss! And it's as easy as that. Clog that, you bastard. Sensational plays. I think we're going to, uh, what do we do, folks? What do we do? We did pull off the combo to perfection there, I must say. And uh, if you can see the time here, folks, I'm not lying to you. Is that coming up? Not really. Hello there. Well, top, top content. It's 12.21 in the a.m., so take my word for it. I think we will leave it there, folks. I think that was just a, a beautiful, sensational game, sensational play and sensational way to, uh, to finish off the proceedings here. You'll love to see it. So, folks, hopefully I uh, get another opportunity in the next few days. We have but one left, the Squirtel, for this double quacks series. Until then, 